Four Roses. We all love Four Roses. And this bottle, um, I'm lucky to have good friends in, in bourbon and in the whiskey industry because I was, I would not be able to get this Four Rose barrel strength. It was the 2020 release. 2020 was just messed up for a lot of people. But I can tell you right now, this Four Rose friend of mine in California actually was able to send me one. And I will send a sample of it as well. Tried it. Delicious. The barrel strength and the year batch of Four Roses are what I look forward to. I know there is a community out there that run after Four Roses. But I will tell you right now, mm, this one, I will have stand in line social distance for hours to be able to put my hands on Four Roses 2020 batch select. This, this right here back is just amazing. Speaking of small brand, Pinhook. Pinhook is actually a very interesting brand. Uh, I see, I've, I've started seeing them during the year. Um, they based most of their brand on, you know, the winner of the Kentucky Derby or one of the famous horses of Kentucky Derby. But this release right here, the accidental marriage of Pinhook, honestly, I believe they call it an accidental marriage because it's an accident that happened. But this probably is the best thing that came out of Pinhook in 2020, I'll be honest. Uh, Pinhook uh, type of rye that they make is a little oily for me, so I don't always drink it. I have a couple of bottles and some uh, you know, store picks of it. But this accidental one, a friend of mine got it, is a limited release. Give me a sample of it. And I'm like, you know what? I need to own this bottle. So this Pinhook accidental marriage, absolutely just delicious. You may have missed it in 2020, but you need to run on it. One news of 2020 that was actually a very good news that a lot of people may have missed in 2020 come from yeah i know it's blanton's i know no one cares about blanton's but i know trust me you want to know this so it used to be the regular single barrel blanton's that you can get were you know were just fine were you know the the one that we will always get and then you have the special edition and the store picks these used to be export only so the blanton straight from the barrel as you can see i drink this one is my favorite the blanton straight from the barrel that's my favorite used to be only exports you can only get it outside of the united states right but then same thing for blend and gold blend and golds you can only get it outside of the united states but guess what september 2020 the news came down they're now available in the u.s so if you haven't heard it and you're a fan like me of the blanton single barrel uh, uh straight from the barrel and the gold now in the u.s you can actually have access to that these two bottles look at them look at these beauties just beautiful beautiful bottles these are the only two blantons that i will run for regular blantons mm, not for me i've tried it i've hunted it i've done what i had to do but don't like it these two right here I go for them every day. So the retail, I'm, I'm a, uh, I, last time I heard about $200 is what they're retailing for. Still will go up to $300. Um, but $215, $250, you can probably grab these two bottles. And trust me, if, you are, if you're somebody like me that been through the hap, hype of, you know, oh, I, I don't like Blanton's, man, 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 we don't, man. Trust me, trust me, you wanna actually give a try to those two you will thank me later you say hood thank you all right if you're in 2020 and you're like me and you are a fan of the orphan barrel brand orphan barrel decided to come with a single malt Amer you know a single malt that they actually release boom orphan barrel um, I believe the name, if I have to get it right, I don't, I, Mucky, Muck, Muckly Muck is what they call it. I don't know the origin of it. I try to reach out to Orphan Barrel a couple of times. Never heard from any of the marketing people. Not sure if they're still around. This is the last thing that they kind of threw at us in 2020. And that's it. 
Uh, I haven't heard from them after that. I have all the orphan barrels here. I've posted it on my TikTok. I've posted it on, on my IG. But I sent him a message, didn't hear from him. I don't know if orphan barrels is coming back, but I'll be very curious to have a conversation with them to see what is it about orphan barrel that is coming up new. But in 2020, they threw us this one. It's a single malt. I believe if I look at the description, yep, is uh, yeah, this one is a single malt. Uh, that they actually found the orphan barrel from Scotland and they didn't give a lot of details so some people obviously are not a fan it's a 24 year old single malt some people think orphan barrels are gimmicky and it's more like a made-up story my grandpa and these barrels I've been you know hidden in that my goal is eventually I want to have them on in my life and show you guys and let them tell us the story from themselves but Orphan Barrel, if you're a fan of single malt and you trust an Orphan Barrel brand, this is one of the bottles in 2020 that you may have missed and you want to get on that. Speaking of new brands, brands that actually came out of the blue, out of the blue. I, I like, I really, and it's very really ironic, right? Out of the blue. And this brand is called Blue Run. Out of the blue, I'm sitting in 2020. And somebody sent me a message, say, have you heard of this brand called Blue Run? I'm like, Blue Run? No. So I go, is this bottle that have uh, this little butterfly on it? Really? Okay. No idea. Coming to find out, Blue Run. Blue Run is obviously um, a source barrel. Their, their owner, Mike, Mike Montgomery, the nicest person I've ever actually talked to in my life just amazing guy, released this in 2020. Um, here is the secret sauce I'm gonna tell you. If you're a fan of 1792, you wanna give this a chance. Think about 1792 on steroids and pick by the best palettes out there that you know. I challenge you. They just released last week or two weeks ago, they just released their, their founder's box and he sold out in six minutes. This is how good this brand is. I will tell you right now, I finished one bottle and a friend of mine, actually, um, I was a little shady. I was like, oh, I don't really, I don't really, uh, I had a taste, I don't really like this. I'm like, I'll, I'll buy it from you. So, as you can see, I'm already deep into it. This is a brand you need to look for. Blue Run, beautiful design, beautiful bottle. The new one actually will look with a, uh, a black butterfly, but it's just amazing juice. Like I say, if you're a fan of 1792, this is something you want to pick up. You trust me, you'll thank me later. One thing that came in 2020 that I did not understand and could not get, again, a friend of mine actually helped me with this one. I was in the middle of crying. I believe at that time I did actually, you know, I did actually didn't feel so good. I thought I had COVID at that time and I couldn't go to actually pick up a bottle of this Yellowstone. If you guys know the brand Yellowstone, they actually had a chance to release their Yellowstone Mash 2020 select edition and this has been uh a lot no one has told me yet that they do not like this bottle this yellowstone here is 101 proof and it's finished in armagnac if you guys know armagnac armagnac is a cognac but from the region of armagnac because they use different grapes and finishing any bourbon in armagnac usually will give that bourbon a little bit of gusto some some you know some strength and it's some sweetness and a little like that armagnac kind of flavoring that you get almost feel like you chewing on a on like very sweet grape and yellowstone themselves produce amazing whiskey finishing in armagnac is just chef kiss you will, will want to try this if you stop at that I, I would definitely say it's a bottle that is a try before you you buy because things that are finished for me, I tell people, not every finish works. So I will never have anybody actually buy something that is finished and not actually try it first. So try it. Trust me, 